Nice. So that's Chandra's storyline. Um, let's let's. Who do we want to go with next? Because we have Nissa, Nissa Ravane, Liliana Vess, or Jace Balaran. Now I'm a big blue player. Blue is what I started with um, in the Mirrodin saga. Actually, with Mirrodin itself, um, blue artifacts is always what I went with. Um, and my second is Rakdos, which is red-black. Liliana and Chandra's colors. So I've already done Gideon. And I've already done Chandra. So, I'm thinking about doing one of these next. I don't really know much about Nyssa. I think we're gonna do Liliana. I think we're just gonna go straight into black. You are Liliana Vess, and your corner of the plain of Dom Dominaria is embroiled in a war that has consumed your family. Your studies of healing magic are useful, but the ravages of war draw you to the forbidden arts. After all, why should any tool be off limits in such times? Oh damn, she was she was nice. She was she was not evil. She was light for some time. Your brother Josu has returned from the battlefield mortally wounded. Desperate to save him, you are told of a healing potion by the mysterious Raven Man, but instead of curing him, the potion transformed your brother into an undead horror intent on killing you. Well, that sucks. That's no good. Josu the Cursed. <coughs> We have very small decks. Terror creature opponent cold controls gets minus one, minus one. Carrying code enters the battlefield tapped. It's 2-2 two, two flying for three. As an additional cost to cast bone splinters, sacrifice a creature, and destroy a target creature. Alright, well let's uh, keep this hand and see what happens. Drop a shambling, shambling goblin on the field, I guess. I had so many weird dreams last night. Like, I had another dream that I was at, like, some, like, backyard party. Flying lifelink. That's not good. Um. I was at, like, a, a backyard party, right? And, uh. With, with some of my friends, Shikari was there. And we were making jokes and having fun and stuff. And, uh... The... I think it was Christian's sister shows up with a bunch of, like, douchebags, basically. Like, j just big, buff guys that were always, like, pushing people around and just being jerks all the time. Oh, that's not fun. Why? Why you do this? And, uh, I don't know, we were playing some kind of game where you, like, throw a ball around and you say someone's name and then they have to get the ball. And, uh, it was really, it was really weird and, like, the, the big guys were being jerks and stuff. And so someone just calls out, like, the island from Lost. And then out of nowhere the fucking smoke monster comes in. And just totally owns these, like, big douchebag people. Just murders them. Right, right up front. Just, you know, just kills them. And then leaves. And, uh... Or no, no, it didn't leave. It, it stayed there. 
and then Shikari just said, get out, and then it left. It was really weird. It was like Shikari was commanding this, this smoke monster from Lost. It was so... It was so weird. I don't even know what context that dream came from. Because I haven't watched Lost in, like, over a year, because I just, I just recently watched it, like, last year or whatever. So, like, you know, I haven't seen it forever. All of a sudden, you know. Well, that sucks. I think it's going to be time for a bone splinters. Choose a creature to destroy. I'm going to destroy the Shambling Goblin. Use the mana tapping key to see different ways you can pay for this ability. What? Choose a creature to sacrifice. Him. Choose a creature to get minus one, minus one. Him. Oh, did I? Oh, I fucked that up. Okay, so the first time when it said choose a creature to destroy, I wanted to click him. Because I thought it meant, like, choose someone who you're going to destroy as the sacrifice for paying it. Okay, so I fucked that up. But now I know that's how that's gonna ask for things. Because I didn't know that's how it asked for the... I got really confused there. Anyway... Do I want to attack... I don't think I want to make that trade. Well, if he doesn't choose to do it, he's going to take damage. But he knows he can heal the damage. So he might not block. He might take the trade. Let's go ahead and do it. I want to see what happens. I want to see what the computer's going to do. What does it think its best move is here? Because I would say block. All right. It took the damage. Now, if I block with the Shambling Goblin and put the minus one, minus one counter on him, is that going to kill it? Is my question. Because I don't know if that would activate after the regenerate step of combat. And I want to say it'll kill it. So let's block, let's block, and see what happens. Okay. And put the minus one, minus one on him. And that did kill it. Awesome. Cool, so that's what I wanted. So that was all around a good turn for me. <laughs> Target opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Alright. Pretty simple. Just one time battle cry. Opponent loses two, you gain two. Let's put another shambling goblin on the field. Now he'll probably trade this turn. I'm just gonna attack with... No, actually, ah, this is really hard because if you die, if he blocks and, and this dies, A, he loses a life, B, he discards a card. Um, so I think that's okay. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. 
He won't lose a creature, though, which kind of sucks. He won't lose this guy. And if he attacks with him next turn, which he probably won't, I'll block with the Shambling Goblin. So I think I'm going to attack with both. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna attack with him. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna bide my time. Just do this. He'll definitely block this because he won't lose anything if he, you know, if he blocks it. He didn't block it. All right. He'd lose the discard. That's what he's worried about. He doesn't want to discard anything. All right. Same block. Same plan, block with the 1-1, one, one, give it a minus 1, minus 1, and then, you know, it'll die. He's gonna put another one out. God, you are so annoying. Shimley Ghoul enters the battlefield tapped. It's a 2-3. Alright. Attack with the black cat again. He chose to block this time. Discard something, nerd. Nice. So I don't really have any gain life, I just have remove life. That's a big guy. 5-3. Ooh. We're even right now. I'm not gonna push the advantage, or I'm not. I'm not gonna push anything. Two damage target creature, and you gain two life. Who are you targeting? You? Oh, that's a sorcery. Fuck! I thought it was an instant. Well, that's bad. That'll pay me to turn target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, that is so nice. Cancel! I almost did it again. Choose a creature to destroy. You. Choose a creature to sacrifice you. Okay, I almost did that the wrong way. Which would have been bad. That was a really nice top deck right there. That that grave grave digger, I think it was called. He's got a lot of two twos out.
I think this is still okay. I think I'm okay with still attacking. He's gonna take me low, but I have blockers. So... He's gonna take me down to three hit points. But I have people who can block next turn. I have both of them, so... Oh, he got me. He got me. Okay, that was a fair that was a fair play. That was a fair play. That's some next level shit, dude. That's like sign in blood almost. I'm definitely going to play that again. I mean, like, you know, 